The subject of nagas, snakes, and serpents has, has a number of different aspects to it. Uh, some are iconographic, some are art historical. There, there's different ways of approaching this subject. Um, one way is to divide it into three main topics of decorative elements, um, wrathful ornaments uh, in iconography, and uh, and uh, deity related. That's one method. Another method is to really divide it into uh, religious traditions, so uh, Buddhist, Bun, and Hindu. Now, really when we talk about snakes, we're really referring often, most often, to, to the concept of Nagas. Naga is an uh, Indian word it, it is referring to um, a sentient being, a, a type of sentient being uh, that uh, is related to the animal realm. So, so quite properly in the Abhidharma literature, you would place Nagas as sort of the higher life form of the animal realm. Now, Nagas generally appear as snakes. But they can also appear as uh, in a human form or half human, half snake. So the upper part of the body is human, the lower part is snake. <clears throat> and in artistic depictions, often the upper, party, upper part of the body that is depicted as a human has a hood of uh, seven snakes. So this is the idea of Nagas. Now, Nagas can be passive, they can be aggressive or they can be helpful. And like ghosts, like Preta, the, the ghost realm of the, of the Buddhist Wheel of Life paintings, the upper levels of the ghost realm, um, certain ghost beings can interact with humans. And so it's believed with the Nagas uh, that certain uh, upper levels of Nagas can, can relate or interact with, with humans. And this is where we see uh, Nagas in paintings as uh, um, participating a as uh, followers, as listeners, in some of the uh, paintings of Buddha Shakyamuni when giving teachings in some of his n the narrative stories. Then we have, uh, we have Nagas that are really talked about in the Manjushri Mulakalpa Tantra as decorating uh, paintings of the Buddha or Manjushri or other important um, uh, Buddhist figures. Uh, so this is really where we find it in art uh, as being more significant. Now, in in the higher tantras, the, the He Vajra, Chakrasambara, uh, Mahakala, then what we find is we find a system of eight great Nagas, and these are considered the leaders of the eight races or eight castes system of Nagas. And then these are very much used as decoration on the bodies of the very wrathful deities, and what that's doing is it's showing the subjugation of the harm that these different Nagas can cause. It's believed that Nagas can cause a lot of um, human illnesses and problems. Now, we also have to differentiate between the Bun concept of Naga and the Buddhist. Uh, the Buddhist very much follows in line with just general Indian culture. So the Hindu and the Buddhist are very much the same. Now, the, the bun, the word in, in Tibetan for Naga is lu. Now, this lu is, is really kind of different. The same as the concept of Garuda in Buddhism and Indian culture is different from the bun concept of kyung. Uh, which is translated by Buddhists as back translating it as Garuda, but for the Bun, it's a Central Asian figure with its own um, rituals, uh, narratives, origin myths, belief structures. Now, it's the same with the Naga. And the, the main texts, aside from the Buddhist texts from India, such as the Manjushri Mulakalpa, and the other higher tantras, which do mention and name the eight great uh, Nagas, the the Bun system is different, and it's based on the Central Asian concepts, and some, I, I would hazard to say, is, is, is more shamanistic concepts of, of this kind of serpent worship and serpent ritual and uh, relationships between the uh, sort of surface dwellers and 
below the surface dwellers of the world. So, but there's a tremendous amount of exchange between Buddhists and Bun over, over the, these different practices, uh, which are unrelated to the Indian practices. So this is just a little introduction into, into this concept of, of Nagas, how they appear, uh, decorative, uh, deity-related, or as uh, uh, attributes or, or adornments on the bodies of wrathful deities. Uh, and we'll talk more about this again.